Hi, this is Kimberly, the editor of Collide. Let's get started with Unit 2, Lesson 2. The first activity is a Collide with the Word activity, and you'll find that on page 29. They'll use the chart to fill in the missing words. Okay. So the next activity is on page 30. You're going to pass out newspaper articles and have kids cut out direct quotes or eyewitness accounts. Now let me just tell you, I did this last night and it was very difficult to find some positive quotes in the newspaper. So you might want to go ahead and look for some before you put out the entire newspaper or you might print some off from online. Um, I also used some sports uh, facts and things like that um, to help cushion some of it. So then they're going to cut them out and tape them to this page. They're not going to cover up this underlined section. That they're going to do that later. So yeah, just make sure they're kid friendly. All right, the next activity is on pages 31 and 32. Before class, you'll cut out strips of paper three quarters inch by nine inches and then fold them in half. And then you'll slide them onto the page so that they're showing on both sides. And you'll do that all the way down. So you need to have enough strips for everybody to have quite a few of them. All right, so then once you get that done, you'll tape them along the edge so that they stay in place. And then do that on the other page. So during class, you're going to read stories about Paul before his conversion and after. Page 31 represents him before, and page 32 represents him after. So on page 31, kids will write um, a word or phrase on each strip about Paul before his conversion, and then the same on the other side uh, after his conversion. And some of these might be the same. So he's smart. So then on the other side, you'll write things about him that happened after he met Jesus. So he was still smart, and he was still very dedicated, but this time to God. The next activity is on page 33. On this page, they're going to answer questions to write out their testimony. Give them about 10 minutes to do this, and then you can allow some of them to share if they'd like. But be sure to set up ground rules before the sharing takes place, like everyone needs to be respectful, everyone needs to clap after each testimony, um, and things like that to keep your environment safe. For the last activity for this lesson, you'll turn back to page 30, and in this little box, they'll write a short description of their testimony that they could share with others. All right, so that's it for this lesson. See you next week.